So there are some drawbacks for the CAR T cell, some um, difficulties and challenges we have with CAR Ts. One is making a product and having a product that works. With the CAR T, the CD19 CAR wheat work that's been going on, we use autologous T cells. So these are T cells that are taken from patients. And so each patient has to have an individualized product made for them, specifically for them, and that process takes several weeks. And we don't always have the luxury of several weeks of time to wait for a product because the disease may be active and progressing. So we have, at MD Anderson, under the direction of Katie Rizvani, been looking at other ways to do cellular therapy with a CAR, um, a receptor-directed cellular therapy. And the work that she's done is looked at NK cells and using the CAR that's been inserted in NK cells and using those cells to target the CLL uh, cells. And so she has a phase one clinical trial that is ongoing. They've treated, uh, I think, nine patients and six of those patients have been complete responders. Now, it's been a mix of CLL and diffuse large B cell lymphoma, but the encouraging feature is that there's definitely activity and there's no toxicity. We don't see the cytokine release syndrome that we see with the CAR T cells. We don't see the neurotoxicity so far with the CAR T cells, um, with the CAR NK cells as has been seen with the CAR T cells. So efficacy and very good tolerability is very encouraging in the early work that they're doing.